It's never not a surprise to be a part of something where people choose to put their whole heart in. So much of this process has been to figure out how do you take a story that was written and lived 2,000 years ago and learn to see it anew. A story that we've been hearing since we were, were little kids, a story that's been portrayed so many different ways. And still, the gospel, I think, hopes that we can learn to see it in a fresh way, learn to see it and, and share it in a way that uh, motivates us towards action and motivates us to, to change. We created a 95-minute setting of the Passion uh, based on the biblical story, but infused with uh, new poetry, uh, new music, spoken dialogue. It's really the, the effort of so many different hands. We brought 60 students, basically, to Israel, and I think, yeah, in terms of how ambitious it was, I mean, talk about travel plans and coordinating and COVID and uh, making it all come together, working with a studio in Israel to make sure all the details were right. The complexity was immense, but I, there was nothing compared to just the experience of letting the place wash over us and, and letting that reflect out through our performance of the music on the recording. It's such a privilege to be here. Having all the sites we've visited has just like been such a cool way to like inform what we're singing about. Yeah, I just can't believe we're here now. Seeing all the sites, the archaeology, fantastic experience. I'm also seeing all the people. You know, you walk in the old city, you hear so many different languages. It's been great. The place where there, like, the magic kind of really started to emerge was, of course, as we progressed through each scene and it was going well and we were getting great results, like there was a ton of energy in the room and, and everyone was getting so excited that we were getting closer to, to finishing what we had set out to, to complete. Um, but as we turned into the last day, um, we took some time to, to take shifts actually and go into the control room and listen back to um, kind of what had happened. And as we were doing this, uh, yeah, I was looking around the room and I could just see the passion coming out amongst the students. Uh, oh man, we could do this better, or oh, I, I don't know if we really wanted it to sound like that, or what would happen if we sang this softer? And through that expression and just kind of being present to what we had been working so hard on, this incredible amount of energy started to emerge on that fourth day. And ending up in this space in Jerusalem at the Jerusalem Music Center um, with these 60 people who all you know, put their hands and their hearts into the creation of this piece, kind of what the experience is when you get to listen to it, because all of that concentrated effort got put into one 90-minute presentation of it, and it comes across when you hear it. I, I think finding, reading the text of your life is just a matter of feeling your identity here and seeing your identity as, as a follower of Christ. And it's so easy to do because there's nothing else to do this week except sing. Lord Jesus Christ, O Holy Word incarnate, you purified us with the living water at Calvary by humbling yourself on the cross. At the Sermon on the Mount, you began your Beatitudes by saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Coming on this pilgrimage, I've, I've kind of reflected on that and I've realized, um, you know, if you love someone, you you will want to see the places that they've been. And you'll, you'll want to uh, have some of the experiences that they've had so you can get to know them better. That's a way of growing in, in your relationship with that person. Two thirds of the Psalms in the Bible are almost our lament Psalms. When Jews prayed those prayers, and today when Christians prayed those prayers, we're taking up the voices of people who have suffered before us, and we're seeing in our suffering something that unites us with a whole human race. Uh, the kind of phrase that, that kept popping up as we were going through the, the trip was that uh, there has to be 
a balance between sort of our identity within the community and what our work is uh, in, in the mission sense. There was a healthy tension between those two things throughout the whole trip, but we got to see uh, a, like a really sincere focus between community and mission as the trip continued because through leaning on the community, we were able to pursue this mission more wholeheartedly. And also conversely, by pursuing the mission so wholeheartedly, it just united us in our efforts in a way that we, we of course hoped would happen, but we just didn't know to the extent to which it would happen. Everyone rose to the occasion. Of course, when you're planning something like this, you always hope that that's gonna be part of the outcome, um, but you don't know, you're really taking a leap of faith until you get to the moment and you get to see uh, the moment when, when everyone chooses if they wanna put their whole heart in or not. Those moments are moments of joy and light and love and hope and God is in those moments and God is in all of you. And I hope that you remember that because when you take it here, if you stay here and go back to your name or to your home or if you're a senior and you're going off to a whole new world, that you are that container of living water and you bring it wherever you go. And it's important because some people still haven't had the moment to drink. For me as a Catholic, being able to be a pilgrim in this place means that I come with a sense of wonder and I come with a sense of I am a stranger in this place. I've never set foot here before and there's so much for me to learn and there's so many places for me to grow and the humility that comes with that, the humility of knowing my limitations but also knowing my, my spaces for growth and seeing where this place can help me grow in my faith um, and walking with some of my best friends and, and singing and um, using our ministry to guide our, our feet in this place. It just means that not only do I get to grow as a Catholic, but I get to grow as a person. I get to grow as a person in community.